What's up everybody and welcome back to Easy Stock Investing. Today we're going to be talking about DraftKings stock, ticker symbol DKNG. We'll be talking about what exactly DraftKings is and what they do. We will quickly analyze their financials as well as take a look at some analyst ratings and price predictions for DraftKings stock. Plus, at the end of the video, I'll be giving you my price prediction and rating for DraftKings stock. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, hit that red subscribe button and get notified every time I upload a video. And remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. If you're going to invest in any stock that we talk about on this channel, you must first do your own research and do your own due diligence. But without further ado guys, let's get right into today's video. So for those of you that don't know what DraftKings is, it's an online sports betting company. With DraftKings, users can participate in traditional casino-like sports gambling games such as playing the spread or betting on player props. However, where DraftKings takes it up a notch compared to most traditional like casino sports betting is they offer what is called daily fantasy sports. What daily fantasy sports offers is a way for players to participate in single or a slate of games, more virtually than they ever have before. For example, in one type of daily fantasy sports game, users use a salary cap to purchase players that will be playing in that particular game or slate. The better the player does in that particular game or slate, the better that person's team will perform, and therefore, the better chance they will have to win money. In the last three years, daily fantasy sports has completely exploded, with names like DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo leading the way. DraftKings has recently partnered with the NFL, the NHL, the NBA, the MLB, I mean, let's face it guys, the more people that are gambling on these sports events means the more butts that are going to be in the seats and the more people that are going to be watching on TV. This equates to a win-win situation for both companies. Now, I'm going to be honest, I have used DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo. And in my very honest opinion, DraftKings is miles ahead of the other two companies when it comes to daily fantasy sports. Plain and simple. There are less technical issues, their site is organized better, their tournaments are larger, and their payouts are better. Okay guys, so DraftKings, they're not exactly profitable yet, which scares a lot of people, but it doesn't scare me. I mean, their partnerships with the NBA, NFL, NHL, and MLB say enough about what's going to happen with this situation, and we can take a look at last quarter's revenue even, and I mean, revenue is up 252%. Now, net income is down, but that's because of advertising and everything they've had to put in to make this thing work, okay? Net profit margin is down, which goes with net income, operating income. See, this is where it all, it, this is where they got hit right here, operating income. But look at this net change in cash. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You can see what's happening here. Their cash on hand is up huge. I mean, there's backing here. There is no reason to be worried about it whatsoever, in my opinion. Now, I want to quickly take a look at my position in DraftKings stock. And now I'm going to be straight up with you guys, okay? I was in DraftKings right around a year ago at an average cost basis of about $32. I emptied that entire position when the stock hit $63. Now, I know some of you are going to say, if you believe in this company, why did you sell? And let me just tell you, with the way the pandemic was ripping, I wasn't sure when exactly sports and basically everything was going to return back to normal. And remember guys, in order for DraftKings to make it, and in order for DraftKings to come out on top, there has to be some sense of normalcy with the sports and public in general. So when normal started to happen again and it seemed the pandemic was sort of slowing down and coming to an end and sports were going back to everything was going to be full speed, it seemed to me that it might be time to look for another entry point back into DraftKings stock. So then the short report came out and the stock 
dropped about 10% and I decided that yeah it's time we're gonna do this so we're not gonna do it so I went and bought 10 shares and I know in the grand scheme of things it's relatively small position but I sold five times this many last time I sold this stock and I honestly want to add to this position fairly consistently and that's why I started with this somewhat of a low amount this time okay now when talking about the short position that those morons from Hindenburg research came out with um, I did another video on that um, I'll link that video at the end of this one so if you want to learn more about that go ahead and check out that video but uh, yeah Kathy Wood went ahead and bought 42 million dollars in DraftKings on the dip after the short sell report so uh, I'm sure ARK, Ark Invest has done their research on this one guys so I'm not worried about that at all so if we head on over here to tip ranks we can see that their smart score has it rated neutral out of five consensus analyst ratings have it a strong buy bogger opinions their sentiment is bullish hedge fund activity has decreased 4.1 million shares over the last quarter insider activity says they have bought shares three hundred and sixty fifty six thousand dollars over the last quarter tip ranks investors their sentiment is very positive the news sentiment is bearish but that I'm sure has to do with the short report the technicals are negative obviously because they're not making profit and same as the fundamentals because they're not making profit so let's go over to the analysts out of 20 analyst ratings there's 16 buy ratings and four hold ratings and an average price target of $69.38 which implies 44.36% upside from current prices and that is a year from now price target so yeah guys I am going to be buying DraftKings stock on just about every major dip it is a three to five year hold for me okay I honestly think that a year from now this stock should be sitting around all-time highs of 70 to 75 dollars and because of its dominance in daily fantasy sports I can see this company being a hundred and fifty dollar company in three to five years I know there's a lot of competition in the sports betting space I definitely do realize that but I believe DraftKings has the dominant edge and daily in daily right now okay and that is huge because everyone else is doing the same thing as far as the casino type games okay but I believe like I said that that dominant engine daily and the partnerships that is formed with the major sporting industries are going they're gonna make DraftKings the leader not only in daily fantasy sports but the entire sports betting industry as a whole in my opinion well guys we've made it to the end of today's video if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help with that YouTube algorithm if you guys want to see, get notified every time I upload a video, hit that red subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about DraftKings stock. Have you bought it? Have you sold it? Where do you think DraftKings is going to be in a year? Have you used the DraftKings product? Are you a sports gambler? Let me know. I always like to hear from you guys. If you guys want some free stocks from Robinhood or Weeble, those will always be in the description below as well. But anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.